Solo has been sold in Norway since 1934 and is considered something of a national soft drink. But competition from big global brands left little Solo outdated and something had to be done to make Norwegians proud of their soda again. Coming from a nation of explorers, it was time for an expedition. If the world discovered Solo, maybe Norwegians would rediscover it too. So, where do you start? Who gets to taste? We left it to chance to decide. More precisely, the ocean currents. We made a message in a bottle. Filled it with a case of Solo and a letter and dropped it into the ocean where Columbus began his journey. Now people can guess where it will end up and win a Solo per nautical mile it travels. The bottle is equipped with AIS, lantern, radar reflector, and GPS. The project has been thoroughly checked out by maritime authorities and ocean researchers. In this case, the product literally is the ad. This is a challenge for PR work. Few editors wants to be a mouthpiece for a brand. Still, the bottle featured in over 1,000 articles worldwide the first month, which again resulted in loads of local coverage. But most importantly, Norwegians have started to cheer for their soft drink again. For the first time in years, Solo is now the market leader in category orange soft drink ahead of Fanta. Needless to say, the bottle will be taken out of the ocean and returned to Norway when the journey is over. In the meantime, follow the journey on solo.no.